Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your daily vibes for Wednesday, June 20th. This is for all signs. You know, before I started this reading, I was thinking, you know, something's over. It's over. It's over. I'm free. I'm free. Done with it. I'm done with it. It's over. I'm done. I am done. Completely done. And I feel good. I feel really good about this. Clearing. Something has been cleared. Yeah, it feels as though someone has decided to go down a new path, a new exciting path. I'm going to accept this challenge and accept the truth. Accept the truth. I, I, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. You believe something. It's over. It's over. Something is over. It's, it's. It's like the truth has been acknowledged. I acknowledge this deceit. I acknowledge this betrayal. I feel it. I understand it. I've taken the time to really meditate on this and contemplate what happened. I've taken this time out to reflect. You may have went through some sort of feeling of emptiness and loss, but now you're starting to become feel alive again. I feel alive. Okay, it's like a revival after a betrayal after some sort of deception. And this deception could have been self-deception. Somebody is now, um, has, a, has come to this new discovery. The Page of Wands is a new discovery that allows them to regain their energy. It's like, I, yeah, I, I understand what happened. I've deceived myself too long because of your deception and I've held on. I probably, somebody went through some sort of withdrawal perhaps with this Four of Swords, even though it's reversed, some sort of withdrawal, some sort of denial, I believe. But now the truth has been received, it's been accepted. And I start, I'm starting to feel alive again. This is exciting. It's exciting. I'm full of confidence. I'm full of courage. And I'm ready to start this new adventure and accept the challenges that I have faced and that are in front of me. I am headed towards my own wish fulfillment because I know what I'm worth. I know what I want and I'm ready for it. Somebody has re-found happiness. via acceptance of the truth. I found my power as well. The ace of the ace of swords is power. Yeah, somebody's letting go. They're letting go. This is a nine of swords. Reverse, somebody is letting go of worry, letting go of depress depression, this depressive state they've been living in. Somebody is letting go of it. They've been holding on for too long. They come to this realization, this new discovery that, you know what? I accept. I accept. I no longer want to play this game. I've avoided the truth for way, way too long. 
But now I'm accepting the truth and I'm letting go. I'm letting go of this worry. I'm letting go of this guilt. I'm letting go of this rejection. I'm letting go of this despair. I have the power to do so and that's what I am going to do. I've been stalling my own wish fulfillment, my own happiness, waiting for a revival of some sort of deception, a deceptive situation. But now I see, now I see the light. I went through this time of rediscovering myself. And now I need to know, I know that I need to make this painful choice to stop holding on to something that is dead. It's dead. Like I said, it's the end. It's the end. Somebody, it's, 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 it's gotten old. I, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm done. I'm done. Let me get this zoomed in or focus, whatever you want to call it. Somebody is deciding to go down a new path. Okay, somebody is. Somebody has decided that, you know, I'm excited for my newfound happiness. I'm, decide, I'm excited for, for what's to come. I am. I, I'm excited. You know, even though, you know, it took me a while to get here. It did. And I held on for way, way, way too long. I am no longer going to worry about this. I'm no longer going to focus on this. I'm no longer going to let this deceit or betrayal hold me back. I'm not going to. I'm not. I've stalled and avoided the truth for long enough. Some of you are still avoiding the truth. Okay? This is for hundreds and thousands of people. Some of you are focused now on your own wish fulfillment. You see this as an exciting new adventure. I'm ready. I am ready to embark on this, this new path. And I'm very excited about it. I am. It's over. It's over. I've decided to accept the truth. We're done. Some of you are still trying to avoid the truth. You're still procrastinating. Some of you, and some of you are still in that state of mind. We're all at different levels on our journey. So somebody is, is still, you know, at this stalemate and they're unable to make this stressful decision. They're still conflicted. But men, and, men, and some of you are still holding on. You're holding on, but, you know, you're getting close to releasing, getting close to releasing and accepting, some of you. Some of you have done it. Some of you have this newfound excitement and it's, it's, it's quite... Um, adventurous, um, it's daring, it's um, risky, but it's fun. It's fun. It's like, yeah, I am, I'm out of here. Uh, it's over. It's, it's over. You know, I feel like some of you have resisted this transformation. The death card is reversed. You've resisted it for a really long time. And that was the self-deceit. That's self-deceit. Resisting this transformation so I feel as though today is a day of a newfound excitement for, for life. Or like, it's like a revival here. A newfound passion, a newfound energy to go find wish fulfillment. Finding the power to follow your hunches, to take steps in a new direction. And to let go, to let go, the Nine of Swords reverse, to let go of worry, let go of guilt, let go of despair, let go of sadness. I am not going to live in this sad state of mind anymore. Let's get some more cards. Somebody was clinging to the past and they were deceiving themselves. Unable to, this is just clarifying what I was saying, unable to accept the truth. Avoiding the truth about this past connection that was 
lies, deceitful, betrayal, okay? Unable to accept the truth. Keeping the blindfold on to the truth. But I feel like now you wake up. And you decide that you want more. I deserve more. I deserve more. I want more. Therefore, it's time for me to regain control of my life. It's time for me to take back my life. We have the emperor here. It's time for me to regain that structure, that organization that's been lost through this depressive state that I have stayed in for way, way too long. It's time for me to take the lead. It's time for me to be decisive and stand strong and bring stability back to my life. If somebody had been stubbornly holding on to something that was dead a long time ago. With the king of coins, reversed, very stubborn. But I, I, I have decided that I am no longer going to lie to myself because I want more. The four of cups reversed. I want more. I'm looking for something more. I'm done analyzing this and I'm ready for this new opportunity. I don't want to live in this discontent anymore. I don't. I've been there long enough and I'm moving on. I have an exciting new path. A new discovery in front of me. And I'm going for it. With passion. It's like there's a renewed passion within you. That is going to bring you a lot of happiness with the Nine of Cups. Because you decide to take the lead and be practical, be responsible, and stand up for yourself. I've stalled. I've stalled and avoided the truth for way, way, way too long. There could, be a, there could be a new suitor on the horizon. The Page of Wands can signify a new suitor, a new partner that is going to be entering your life or has entered your life that is much more suited for you than whoever this was that you have held on to um, that didn't serve you. This is somebody that is better suited for you. I've decided to take a new approach to life because I'm ready for to be happy. I am. There's like a new livelihood. And I, it's something that I just want to... I, I want to show the world. I want to tell the world how happy I am about this new exciting opportunity that has come in for me. I'm excited. I'm excited for this happiness that is now coming when I have sat back and worried and felt guilty and felt bad for so long. So I feel like today is a day of, of revival. It's a day of new beginnings. It's a day of letting go of the past that you have been clinging to deceitfully for so long. I accept the truth. I found my power to let go of this worry, guilt, despair. I'm taking back my life and I'm proud of it too. Let's get a couple of oracle cards. Somebody has stalled long enough. They've come to the realization that, you know what, the power is within me. I have the power. 
I have the power to be happy. I have the power within me to be happy. Mm. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Makes a lot of sense. I no longer am trying to control this situation. I'm moving forward. I'm not going to block it from happening. I'm not. I'm not going to block. Oh, beautiful. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Everything happens at the right time. And everything happens for a reason. You went through some sort of period of rest and recuperation because you needed to. You needed to discern a situation. You needed to heal. You need to get to the bottom of it. You needed to take a time out. You need to figure out where you're going, what you're doing. You needed to heal. And now the time has come to move on. We got two. hate it when that happens, don't you? <laughs> New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. And that is what today is about. There's a new beginning right in front of you because you take back your power. And forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating you. And this is in the past. The past is over here. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness is, is, is the act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and is, has the cap capacity to heal and transform. Somebody was deceiving themselves with the seven of swords by holding on to resentment and anger, and it was preventing you. But I feel like somebody decides out of the blue. I am moving on. No more resentment. I don't have any more resentment. I don't. I'm ready for my new beginning. Just like that. And that's what I have. There's a new beginning on the horizon. Because you found your power. Power. 